guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing y'all how to make the most delicious smothered steaks this will be quick easy and simple to get started i have the steaks already washed and prepped i'll be using new york strip but feel free to use whatever kind you like i will be seasoning them with some garlic and onion powder black pepper seasoned salt all-purpose seasoning and some beef bouillon i have some oil i'll be using as well as some cream of mushroom i have the cream of mushroom a roasted garlic as well as golden mushroom i have some bell peppers and onions let's get started so to begin you want to combine all of your seasonings and just set that aside then we will coat the steaks on both sides with the oil then you want to go in with your seasoning make sure that the steaks are nicely marinated on both sides with that seasoning and we'll let it rest for about 30 minutes before we cook them So while the steaks are resting, let's create that gravy we'll use to smother our steaks in. So like I said, I'm using cream of mushroom in roasted garlic as well as the golden mushroom. The golden mushroom will give the gravy a nice natural color and that's exactly what I am looking for. So once you add the two cans of soup, we'll go in with some water, about a cup or so, just to loosen it up a bit and then we'll set that aside. To a preheated pot, I did add some oil and now we'll go in with those steaks. You want to sear them on both sides. Get a nice sear and color on them. So you want to make sure that oil is really hot. You place them in there for about a minute or two per side. We're not going to cook them all the way through right now. They will finish off in the oven. So once they're done, you remove them and carry on with that same step until we're all done. Next, you wanna place your steaks in a nine by 13 baking dish. Then we'll add our onions and bell peppers. Add them in any order that you like. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then we'll go in with that mushroom soup and we will make sure that the steaks are nicely coated with the soup. We will cover and place this in a 365 degree oven for about two hours. After about two hours, your steaks should be nice and tender, juicy, mouth-watering. The next thing we'll do here is add some fresh parsley. And that's it, guys. You can get ready to serve. It is so good. I'm telling you, you will thank me later. <laughs> so I did pair it up with some mashed potatoes and some steamed broccoli, and it was a hit. My family could not believe that it take no particular effort to make this because it was so delicious. The steak were juicy, tender, and just coming apart. As you can see right there, I used my fork to just pull that meat apart and it was amazing. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy!